we are going to open the box up. There will be directions. You can put them off to the side. The first thing that you will have will be your base. So you can take that out of the covering. Also in the box, you're going to find a power cord. And you open up the bag for the power cord. There is going to be an adapter, a European adapter. You can take this and throw it away and keep the cord. This is the camera itself. You will have a remote. And on the back of the remote, you're going to need to pull this, which will then turn that on. This here is your USB power adapter that if you are not near a power source, you will be able to use this to plug this into one of your USB ports in your laptop. So we'll show you that in a moment. And this is one of the sticks that go with the camera. So take out the camera itself. There are a couple of ways that you can put this camera together. So the recommended way that we are doing this in EdTech is we are taking the camera actually and just placing it into the base. So you can do it this way, or you can use this on top of here as well. This just kind of gives it a little bit more of the sense that a kid could not get over. You could have that, whereas if you have the camera right into the base, you can eliminate the possibility of this breaking. Um, but either way, it will work. So here, if you're looking at the base of the camera and you put it in the base, you just match them up and it just plugs in. The same with this, you would just match the bottom of the base up with the top of the camera and you would be plugged in. Um, if you have a power source, you're gonna take this. In the back of the camera, there is a port. You're gonna plug it in and plug it into the wall. If you do not have a source nearby, a power source nearby, you can take this cord, plug it in, and this part will then go into your laptop. This also will need to go into your laptop. This is what's going to control your camera. This cord is what will control your power source. But if you do have the power source nearby, you can just use this so you're not using all of your USB ports on your laptop. Okay, once you are in your Google Meet, you are going to go to your settings. In the audio, you are going to want to pick the conference cam for your microphone, as well as your conference cam for the speakers. You're then going to go over to the video, and for your camera, you are also going to pick the conference cam. out and you are ready for your meeting.